and good day. This is the New Cycle Midweek on My Color TV, streaming via the internet to you through your device. I am Adobe Ilozwe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at My Color TV, and on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at My Color TV. Now, these are the leading stories making the headlines on the bulletin today. NYSC shuts down all orientation camps over fear of coronavirus. Federal government and asked to reach concrete proposals on varsity crisis. Federal government places ban on travel to high-risk countries. South Korea to boost dollar supply to ease economic pressures. Customs ban movement of containers by badges. Now the news in full. The National Youth Service School, NYSC, has ordered that all orientation camps across Nigeria be shot as preventive and precautionary measures against coronavirus. The ongoing orientation for Batch H Stream 1 core members, which was supposed to end on the 30th of March 2020, has now been cut short 12 days earlier. A statement by the NYSC management read, and I quote, The management of the National Youth Service Corps scheme wishes to announce the suspension of the ongoing orientation course for the 2020 Batch A Stream 1 core members. Therefore, the core members shall be posted to commence their primary assignments forthwith, while they shall be invited back to the orientation camps when the situation improves, just like it happened a few years ago when the nation was confronted by the Ebola virus threat. End of quote. The federal government has placed the ban on travel by public servants to countries highly affected by COVID-19 pandemic disease. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF Boss Mustafa, announced this on Tuesday after a closed-door meeting with the Presidential Task Force Committee on the COVID-19 in Abuja. The countries are China, Iran, South Korea, Germany, Italy, the United States of America, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Norway, Netherlands, Spain, France and Japan. Mustafa said the committee, after its meeting, concluded that all officials in the ministries, departments, and agencies, MDAs, including parastatals, to stop all forms of travels out of the country for whatever reason. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, on Wednesday said it has reached concrete proposals with the federal government on the crisis in the university system. The ASU president, Professor Biodun Oguyemi, disclosed this in Abuja while addressing journalists at the end of a closed-door reconciliatory meeting at the Ministry of Labor and Employment in Abuja. The meeting, which began by 3 p.m., ended late on Tuesday night. ASU embarked on the warning strike on March 9th over a disagreement with the federal government on the revitalization of universities, earned academic allowance, visitation panels, mainstreaming, and most importantly, the integrated payroll and personnel information system. IPPIS. On the international scene, South Korea will inject more dollars into its banking system to ensure businesses have enough funding amid concerns about the deepening global economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic. The Finance Ministry and the Bank of Korea announced moves that are expected to beef up dollar supply in the market by $5 billion to $10 billion as the coronavirus causes chaos in global financial markets and a big demand for U.S. dollars. In business, the Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, has announced a ban on evacuation of containers by barges, but stakeholders have kicked against the decision. The port's business community has also said the ban is inimical to maritime business growth, saying the decision was retroactive. A circular was addressed to all Deputy Comptroller General's DCGs, Assistant Comptroller General's ACGs, Zonal Coordinators, Customs Area Controllers, Controllers Federal Operations Unit, Controllers Marine Command, border drill sector coordinators, and all heads of units. Some of the stakeholders said instead of an outright ban, the customs management should have put stricter controls in use of barges to prevent illegalities, while ensuring that thorough investigation is carried out to ensure that those involved are brought to book. Let us link up with Kaiser for some sports updates. All right, thank you very much, Adobe. Good afternoon, guys, and thank you for joining me on Sports Updates right here on New Cycle. My name is Keiza. It would be on the sports scene like we talked about yesterday and then for yesterday. The coronavirus has stolen all the headlines 
in most of our stories this particular afternoon talking about that the Edo Sporting Festival has been cancelled due to the fear of coronavirus. This announcement was made by the Sporting Minister Sunday Dara yesterday around 5 p.m. I still on the same coronavirus to the Sierra Leone Football Association has admitted that they will be suspending all their football league indefinitely for the meantime while they make efforts to contain the spreading virus. And still on the same coronavirus story, French midfielder and Juventus midfielder, that's Blaise Matuidi, has joined other list of footballers who had contracted the virus. It was made yesterday, known through his Twitter handle. Former Nigerian uh, midfielder and former Chelsea midfielder, talking about Mikel Obi, has parted ways with his football club, talking about Trasbon Sport in Italy. This happened after Mikel actually came out to admit that he feels uncomfortable playing for the fear of Corona virus and to support what Mikel said, the Super Eagles coordinator, Mr. Patrick, also came out and said, and I quote him, that you do not carry trophies right on the grave, that you have to do what you have to do to stay alive. Spanish football coach Francisco Garcia has died at age of 21 after he had contracted the coronavirus. When diagnoses were being made, it was learned that he had leukemia and it made the virus, which is corona, made it way more easier to have killed him at that young age. The show must go on, talking about the rest of minute 36, after WWE admitted that whether corona or no corona, whether fans or no fans, which will happen in the performance center, unlike the former venue, which was the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida, which means for those of us who will be streaming the event live at home, we still have to get all the events live as it comes to our screens. The British Boxing Council has cancelled every boxing tournament, every boxing event, because of the fear of the coronavirus. This news was made yesterday, known after many people showed concern about the deadly virus and still on the coronavirus thing. The Road 2020 tournament, which was meant to kick off June 12th this year, has been shifted a year which means the tournament will be coming live. That should be 12th of June, 2021, after they had a meeting regarding the deadly coronavirus. Remember to like us and subscribe to our channel on YouTube at My Color TV. No spacing until I come your way next time. Thank you very much. Back to Adobe. Thank you very much, Keza, for those sports updates. And these are the stories we're following on New Cycle Midweek on My Color TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at My Color TV and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at My Color TV. For the news production team led by producer Evangel Ewelu, I am Adobe Ilozwe. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant midweek.